Welcome to this Windows channel and this is of course a quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10 Redstone 5. This is the build 17754 released today September 5th 2018 around 1 p.m. Eastern usual time where it's you know you gotta look because there's a lot of builds released around that time uh, early afternoon Eastern so um, of course I installed it and it's working great I've been trying it out for uh, the several hours now um, no watermark once again we're um, really you know getting there install is a typical install of, of Windows 10 on this machine which is the preparation phase is always about two hours two hours and a half then there's the install phase itself where the computer is unusable which is typically roughly 30 minutes and uh, we are at this new build if we take a look at the Windows version number on the Winver command we of course see that it's version 1809 and it's built 17754 and that basically once again no new features but lots of bug fixes and um, very very short very small list of problems known problems we're getting there we're getting to that moment you know we're September the 5th now and this typically is going to come out to everybody in a little more than over a month from now so um, this is kind of nice should be of course feature not just feature but should be RTM as some of you might remember how we refer to the uh, you know finished retail version uh, for insiders somewhere around the end of September so of course we're moving ahead here um, the build itself is very stable if it had no issues no problems and uh, of course because there's no new features we're going to talk about some of the features coming as uh, we highlight some of the new features coming to the uh, Redstone 5. So one of them, File Explorer, dark themed File Explorer, of course, once again, looking at what it is. Um, I find it nice. I find it interesting. It's uh, maybe not perfect, but it's, I, I still prefer this to the white background File Explorer that, that we've seen for ages in Windows. And um, so, you know, and the menus are okay, uh, the ribbon and everything looks good. I mean, I've got no real big complaint, I complain about it. Uh, some people say, well, you know, maybe those folders, those yellow folders, they should be changing. And yeah, but it all has to do, you know, with the fact of how we visualize what a folder is. I mean, how do you represent a folder in a PC when a folder for ages is that yellow folder that we put in you know and in, in, in the uh, desk drawers and, and, and that's what comes to mind maybe they should have colors I, I, I would not say no to that maybe have you know change the drawer colors and say hey I would like to have the folders uh, you know red and, and and this or that blue and you know a little more customization maybe but um, you know still it's it's okay you know I mean uh, it's, it's it's the same file explorer pretty much what we had in the white but with the dark team the other interesting aspect and that's one that one is interesting there the fact that they updated the notepad i mean the notepad has been there forever and um i don't know about you i probably use the notepad um you know in 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 all the time i've used the pc i've used the notepads hundreds of times it's kind of the easy way to, you know, kind of copy or paste text or do little changes or do little quick things or just take little notes very quickly. And, uh, well, that is cool because, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice that they updated it. What probably surprises me is that the Notepad is still a Desktop 32 app. It's not a Windows 10 um, UWP or Universal Windows Platform app, which, of course, is what Microsoft always been trying to work on and it makes me wonder why they haven't done that instead of just updated the notepad I'm, I'm a little surprised by that of course the new notepad has a few new little things uh, including of course the word wrap now it wraps instead of always going to the eternal 
you know, um, right side as long as you don't press that enter key. Uh, there's of course, you can still have this without word wrap if you want. Uh, there's of course all the funds that are available. You can zoom in or out of the text easily. You know, all of these little new things. Uh, you can search, you can find next, you can, um, you know, pretty much do a, it's, it's almost like a miniature, um, you know, word processor now. It, it actually can be used and honestly, it, it almost can pretty much be used to do a, a, a um, you know, a, a, a small text or something if you have nothing else, you know, of course, when I want to do something that would be a little more polished, I prefer the word pad because a word pad has a little more options that resemble, um, you know, the a word processing, like, you know, ability to center text and to, to choose, you know, left or right or align stuff. It's kind of a very, you know, um, basic word processor where here we're still missing some of the options for that. So I don't know, um, but you know, some new options. I don't know, some people might find it interesting. Of course, the, the word count and all the stuff that you have and the information in here. So, um, you know, it's something that they're working on. Uh, that's part of what's coming up in Redstone 5. And uh, so two little features I wanted to talk about. Dark Team File Explorer and uh, the updated notepad that, like I said, I'm, I'm surprised they haven't done a app notepad app that's in the store instead that that is you know kind of the new thing for the uh, the notepad apart from that of course a great build it works well I've got no issues and um, absolutely no problems here uh, what about you what do you guys think about this build and um, are you satisfied did it install well anybody had issues or not uh, let us know it's always fun to have your feedback if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.